Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Tonight, I'm joined here with uh, Caleb. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, nothing. And uh, <laughs> I always say that, like, we have to introduce as, ourselves. <laughs> as if we just got on Discord together right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. How you doing? <laughs> nice weather we're having. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's not too bad. Make, like, small talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I wanted to wanted to continue talking about Scream Six. We're twenty days away from the movie, so Ooh. we're almost there. We're two weeks out. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. I know I already got our tickets to go see it, so I can't wait. It's um, so sad to me too, because I I know you mentioned when it was twenty one days away, and I felt like that was already four days ago. Yeah, I so know. that makes me sad to hear that it's only been one day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know I man I wish it was already here but just got to be patient I guess. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm so excited to see this movie. I, mm. I'm I'm I I'm thinking it's probably going to be one of the best screams out there cuz with the marketing and the way they're doing everything, the producers already talked about how the movie's going to be a lot different than the other ones. So but they say that every movie where they're like right. I'm different and then it's just like <laughs> it's the same motive. But yeah. they did do an interview recently I watched on IGN and they were like, this one really is different. Like we're taking a lot of risks in this movie that we've never done in a screen <clears> movie. So it should be interesting, they said. So what if they go very different and it's the uh the ghost face from scary movie, the <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that ghost face, they're like, oh, this is, way, this is way different. Yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> or Officer Doofy ends up being the murder. murder. <laughs> um, so as you guys can see this picture on my screen, um, I wanted to kind of talk about the diet with Scream 6 coming up. Uh, the motive, you know, behind the killers. You know, I, I haven't really done or we haven't really done a video on that yet. And I know recently, just a couple of days ago, I did a video on like the marketing for the Guess Who game and they turned Scream into like a Guess Who. And that was pretty cool. That's cool. But I, I wanted to talk about like, what do you, I guess, me, I guess I'll start off as like, for me, watching the other Scream movies, you know, one through five, I'm having a feeling that the motive behind this is going to be obviously something to do with the past, like a past killer because of the old mass. But I think that with the shrine and everything going on, some people have already mentioned that it's going to be like a true crime detective type mm. movie. So I think first of all, the person who is in charge of the killings is going to be obsessed with true crime, right? And we already see that Detective Bailey and Kirby are both in the force for the movie. So they're mm. already cops. So okay. they're already on Remember my suspect list, <laughs> right. like hardcore. Um, and I don't think it's going to be Sam, Tara, uh, Chad, or Mindy, or Gail. I'm just going to say mm. that right off the bat because I think they're two main characters to be a part of being Ghostface. I don't I just don't know what their motives would be either. So I think the motive behind this movie is going to be they're trying to a get some revenge for somebody in the past or two or B, right. sorry. They're related to somebody. And whoever's doing the killings, it could be two, three Ghostface, four, we don't know, but I think mm -hmm. that they have a past connection and that they're just trying to get revenge. But because considering right. the shrine, well, obviously they're big collectors of the yeah. stab memorabilia, but plus the ghost face murders. And I, that's what I'm most excited to see. I want to see the shrine in action because, you know, there's going to be a lot of cool history and you're probably going to be watching the movie and go like, oh my gosh, look, it's Stu's jacket, <laughs> you know, or whatever from right, yeah. Scream 1. So I don't know. What's your, what's your thoughts or opinions going into scream six when it comes to like the motive and all that have you really thought about that no not really um mainly just because i'm like I, i've tried to stop myself from looking up things online yeah for like all the different theories that people have just because i know you were mentioning uh what was it like within this last week or so there's been so many different spoilers like people spoiling things just online even in like youtube YouTube comment sections, which I guess, you know, thank God we're a small channel. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so I uh, having to deal with that really, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, that's something that's upsetting, like something as big as something like this, uh, a scream six or, you know, any, that's any other movie or game. It, it always seems like it's the time where people 
tend to spoil within like the first or yeah. the uh, the last couple of weeks or even the 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 week before people tend to do that stuff so i don't really have any ideas but the only thing that i've always just thought of was i i feel like it's probably going to be somebody that's related to someone mm. um in this movie and obviously there's gonna be a reason for it but i think the reason i felt that way was because of watching four um with it being uh what was it uh Carly her, and Jill yeah oh um, the, so, so Cindy's watching, cousin right yeah so watching that one for me I kind of felt like because I get maybe that's because that's the last one I watched I haven't watched five yet maybe five will change my mind then yeah but because of watching four I felt like it was going to be something similar and especially mm. because like I know this one will be it could be entirely different than what anybody's going to expect especially considering I know they always say I'm very different yeah I'm gonna yeah. be the, the different one <laughs> But it always kind of ties into something from the past movies. And I felt like because of uh I'm trying to remember again, so forgive me. But no, the one okay. with um the one with the uh the director where you know he happened to be her brother. I always forget. Was that Oh Scream Three, Roman. Three. Okay. I always get confused whether if it was two or three. Cause I just <laughs> I zoomed through one and two like in one day. Yeah. <laughs> and then straight straight to three. Um but for me, it was like, okay, well then, you know, one was just them two, which that's when we find out that he, you know, Billy and Stu started, did that because of him, right? Yes. Because of Roman. So I was like, okay, well, that, it started it, but it wasn't really like there was a connection, but only because of that of relationship between him and Sydney. So it's like, okay, there's that thing, but it mainly started because of him. And then that was family. So I kind of feel like if there's going to be like a family or some sort of relationship sort of thing um, where someone's related or whatnot. Uh, but that was, that's the only thoughts I ever had on it. Other than that, for the most part, I just kind of try to stay away from it. Yeah, just no, to, you don't like want to spoil be excited it. When I see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, that's what I don't understand is why do people love spoilers so much? And and I think it just goes back to like that, that Batman, <clears throat> the Dark Knight quote when the joke, when the, what was it? Um, what was it uh detective gordon where he's mm -hmm. like some people just want to watch the world burn and that's what Pretty i much, always think yeah. about right like yeah when people spoil things like that where they reveal the killers or they give away stuff from the movie it's like people are just evil like there's no yeah. other way to put I mean, it right i mean the only two things i could think of is one people want to know people want to yeah. know information the internet exists people want to know information yeah so there's there's that curiosity there but then the second part is it's it's almost like cheaters in, yeah. in video games where people just like to do it and they like to ruin you know people's day so yeah uh, it's just people that just exist it's really sad and actually going back to what you were mentioning with the past is i was remembering a lot of scream 5 and i know that you know i know we went and watched scream 5 last year in the theater together but mm -hmm. i know you know you're going back through the movies but just to reminisce scream 5 again is when dewey's talking to um um sam and richie and he's like, you know, don't ever trust the love interest. <laughs> yep. And then also it's always connected to somebody in the past. And mm -hmm. it's always somebody in your tight like circle group. Right. So yep. if we can see the friends of who's going to be friends this next movie. And if you I don't know if you've noticed something, but there's a trend in every screen movie. OK, mm -hmm. so in every screen movie, the killer ends up wearing a plaid blue shirt. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. And I don't know why, I don't know what it is, what's the reasoning behind it. I'm sure there was a reasoning for it, but if you notice in every screen movie, the killers end up wearing like a like something blue, like a plaid, plaid blue like collared shirt or whatever. So it's really interesting. Um, I don't know exactly what the reasoning is, but I know that, yeah, that's always been like the thing. So huh. you can kind of tell from that. That's the funny thing too is like so i don't know when like that trend started i was just looking look up right now um but they had it on uh what's his face it was the one with uh with mickey where it was sydney's boyfriend oh yes so obviously he wasn't he wasn't the killer at yeah, all yeah yeah but they Spoilers. had him wearing a, a uh they oh, had sorry. him wearing a <laughs> i'm sorry let me leave now yeah 20 <laughs> they, years um, the movie's been out <laughs> they, they had him wearing a uh, blue plaid t-shirt Oh, yes. Yeah, they did. So Derek. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so I think they do that to also throw people off as well. 
Right. Um, because and also in the Scream 6 trailer, sorry, talking about spoilers. I mean, this isn't really a spoiler, but if you notice in the trailer, Jack Champion, he's wearing he's one of the new characters. He's actually wearing a blue plaid T-shirt. So <laughs> I noticed that under like his jacket or whatever. So I thought that was interesting. interesting. So we'll see if he ends up being one of the killers, but I think he's going to be like a red herring though, you know? I think so too. Yeah. I don't think he'll actually be the killer or not. Right. Uh, for me, I don't know. I'm just kind of just banking on it that I almost feel like this movie, them saying, oh, it's going to be very different. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be very true to that. I think it, I think it is going to be very different yeah. than any of the other ones that have came out. And I think so. they want to go in a darker direction with this one because I feel yeah. like Scream 5 was really uh, just a respect homage to the first movie. Exactly. And they wanted to do that like comedy slash horror movie, you know, where this right. one Cla I think is going to be very dark. Scream. So, yeah, which I'm excited. I'm glad they're going back to like the scary movie roots because right. that's what I mean. Scream at its core, it's a mystery thriller, right? Like you're trying to mm -hmm. figure out who's doing the killings, who's behind the mask. But it's a scary movie. Like that's really what it comes down right. to. So it's not a... I mean, there is comedy bits in it, but I think this one, they're really going to do stuff where you're like, oh, crap, I can't believe they just did that. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you know, exactly. Which I'm yeah. excited for. We need more Olivia death scenes like in Scream 4. That, that was <laughs> <Right>. brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, Gosh. I know I mentioned that in the last, I think it was the last video we did together. And th that's what I remembered was just watching it. I was like, the scene feels familiar. What happens again? And then that's when it was like he popped up in her room. I was like, oh, now I remember what happens. Yes. <laughs> Showed the aftermath. <laughs> Not in your yeah. closet. <laughs> yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was a brutal scene. Very brutal. And like, like and that's the, you um, feel bad for her, too. Right. Well, I think what makes it even more brutal, too, is having watched like one and two. Yeah. Um, and then three back to back is not because of the movies are like i'll just use the word like dated yeah you know but in the sense of which obviously like practical effects and other stuff has like gotten better you know cgi and i think most of those are just practical um but that's at least the one thing that always usually gets me watching movies where if there's a really old one and then they continue that series throughout the years is the differences where you might see somebody get stabbed and like in the first movies, like, you know, they'll show how like somebody gets stabbed, like yeah. an old reel. But it's like, there's a difference between seeing an old movie where somebody gets stabbed one time and you're like, ooh, they got stabbed. They show it on the camera. You know, there wasn't a cutaway. Yeah. Um, Like, let's say, uh, I always forget his name, um, but it was the uh, the dude um, at the end of two, is it right? Is the one with Mickey? Yes. Okay, Mickey so it was, yeah, so it's the, the end of two where uh, the dude, you know, he's um, kind of fi finally free, basically, and he gets all the publicity that he finally wants at the end. Yeah. Um, and then three starts, and then that's where he gets murdered, you know, in the beginning. Uh, but you know how, like, the camera, like, it, it cuts when he gets stabbed in the head, it cuts and it says, you know, scream. Yeah, like, the title. yeah. For me, there, it, there's always a, it's always way more brutal when you see old movies and it's like someone gets stabbed one time or there's a cut or something, but then all of a sudden you'll see another movie and then it's just like stab, 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 yes. stab, like back, back and forth. You're like, oh my God. And then they actually get shown like being gutted one night. <laughs> I remember that, that threw you off. Remember it, Scream 5 threw, with Chad? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Chad. I just remember he gets he tackled got attacked. and just starts getting stabbed like over and over super fast too. And I was like, that's not how Ghostface stabs people. Yeah. <laughs> like, whenever they do something that's out of the norm, that's what I get excited for. Yeah. Stuff like that. I agree. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Like the brutality of things. Yeah. Cause and I think that's how this one's going to go. They kind of got to up the par for those things. Right. In these new movies, because you don't want to go overboard where it's like a Texas chainsaw massacre type gore. Oh, that, but then that's, you what I, that's what I want. That's what, you, that's what you want, like uh, like uh, the Terrifier 2 type gore. <laughs> yeah. Um, where I think you got to keep it still. Mm. You got to keep it fun to watch, but also at the same time, you got to like, ooh, gosh, that's kind of gross though still, you know? Yeah. So I think you got to find that balance of t between like, okay, this is too much horror, but it's not mm. enough, you know? I'll imagine every single time I see that scene of uh, Ghostface with the shotgun. I just think of the one where uh, <clears throat> where the Terminator walks up uh, and he sees Judas. He just goes traitor, and he yes. keeps shooting him on the on the table. <laughs> yeah, stop doing that. Yeah, stop he keeps, Judas. He keeps reviving him. Yeah. <laughs> Look, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> Pontus Pilate at five o'clock. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> five o'clock. 
<laughs> I just uh, always think of that video. Those are pretty funny. I'm ex I'm excited though. It's I like I said. I I think when they say this is gonna be very different, I think it's gonna be very different. Not only just because of the way that it'll that everything is gonna unfold or whatnot, like with the story. Yeah. I think it'll be very different, but just the fact you I mean like, I know people bring it up all the time, but just like the shotgun. I think there's gonna be a lot of things in this movie that's gonna be very out of the norm of what people are used to Ghostface doing. Yes. And I, th and I think that's what's gonna make it different is considering the fact with, um, you know, with, uh, oh, shoot, I, I always get the two mixed up. Um, not Roman, but the uh, the one dude, he got killed. The, the, the young kid, he got killed in the van. Uh, oh, Randy. Randy, um, which I was so sad when he got killed off. Oh, yeah, he's one of the worst. Was, he was, he was, yeah, he was, I, he was one of my favorites like since the beginning, and I was like, I didn't even see that one really coming. I thought it was there was just gonna be like this kind of like scene, it was gonna play out, and you would think he would get killed, and then he's gonna be fine. Because I could have swore I saw him on covers for other movies after, and then he just gets killed, and I was like, Die, I'm really upset now. Yeah, <laughs> I, had to, I had to take a break at the, uh, after that. Yes. I had to pause for a minute and go like for a short walk, like in the kitchen. Get a snack. Like, but, I gotta take a breather. Yeah, take a breather. But uh, you know, stuff with that not only killing off other people you're probably not gonna expect, but yeah. with um, you know, with, with that character Randy, where he was just like, "There's always a method." You know, there's always uh, these patterns. This is what they do. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's like he he only does this. He only does that. Um, you you can't do. You can't do that. I'm gay. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and Scream Four, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's like you know those little patterns, though. Um, I think this movie is going to be very different, where we're going to see a lot of things outside of patterns. Yeah. So and that, that's what I'm ready for. Mm -hmm. I think this movie is really going to take. Uh, what I, I'm always excited for is Act Three in these movies, the very end, um, because that's where things start to get back crazy. Mm -hmm. And like like the beginning of screen movies are good because it leads up to like the reveal, but like the very right. end of screen movies where like think crap goes down, you know what I mean? Like right, it's yep. going down. So yeah. and that's where it starts to get confusing. We were like, oh crap, maybe he's a killer, but and then it reveals like boom, sliced, and then like okay, he's yeah. not a killer. <laughs> yeah. So and then that's really starts to get good. We were like, okay, who the heck are the killers now? So right. The only thing that fun. I've noticed in any of the other movies, but not really five, because I, I have to watch five again. But in all the other movies, what I've noticed was whenever people were off screen for a long, long time, yeah. and they just decided to show up. Those were the, always the killers. So I have to watch five again to see if they've done anything different or if it's the same. But at least like one through four, they did that with all of them. Um, like with four, it was, uh, you know, Jill, she goes away she hides it in the bed and then she's just gone i was like yeah. yep, she's one of them for sure yeah yeah other guy didn't really see it oh charlie i, I, I yeah. thought he was yeah i thought he was a cool dude um didn't really see that one happening with him not so much um mainly jill though but i know for most of them whenever they were off screen for like a long time like especially mickey he was just gone forever i was like yeah he's probably the killer so yeah um those are the things i think about at least is is it gonna be those little things that you notice, you know, whether it's the blue shirt, whether they're off screen for a long time, um, any of those little things, I feel like they're probably going to do very different with this movie. A lot of things that you've kind of written down or you've done the research on about the, you know, any of the movies, it's kind of like, this is the pattern. I've looked it up all on Reddit. This is what it is. Yeah. You know, I think it's going to be, <laughs> I'm hoping and I think it's going to be very different and outside the box compared to the other movies. I'm hoping that it's everything opposite of what I am expecting. You know right. what I mean? Yep. Because, yeah. like, I don't want to go into it already knowing what's going to happen. I want them to throw me off. Yeah. And, like, yeah. boom, this person's not the killer, so you guess mm -hmm. wrong, you know? Like, I I don't know. I, I love that. Because then it shows that they're doing a good job at these movies. So, yep. they're keeping you on your toes. Exactly. But, yeah. But, yeah, I'm excited for Scream 6. <clears throat> um, I know I know you're excited. Um. Um, I can't wait to go watch the movie here in a few weeks and um, definitely going to have a lot of thoughts after we go watch it <laughs> mm -hmm. and give a lot of opinions on it. But uh, yeah, anything else you have on a motive for the movie coming out? Um, Not really. Yeah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> me either. Uh, that was yeah. good. So but anyways, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm just excited to watch it now. Like mm -hmm. I, I hate 
I love making these videos, but at the same time, like I just want to watch the movie. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Just give us the movie. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and I and I think you did before um, in one of the other videos. But you know, speaking of seeing the movie, you know, congratulations to you know the winner for the giveaway. Yeah, great. Um, I think it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the movie. You know, let us know yeah. what you guys think. You know, here in the next few weeks when the movie does come out. But you know, um, appreciate everybody else just watching. Uh, the videos here i know i've been gone in florida for the last week so i feel bad i'm like i want to like do videos with you <laughs> I, but the funny thing was though was every time i was able to chill um after moving i would just get back and i felt like i was like "Ooh, video from nathan and yeah I would just sit down and just watch those so <laughs> yeah oh yeah support but, uh, yeah but no, i appreciate you guys watching the video supporting i, I know nathan got like a few uploading uh, messages just from people you know, saying that they enjoyed the videos enjoy watching the channel so appreciate you guys uh just as much and i guess that'll probably be us for tonight then right yeah absolutely and uh as always guys if you enjoyed this video please like the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel and um yeah we're excited so the countdown's on for scream six and uh as always guys we'll see you in the next video take care see you later